Hello everyone, I am Proximon, and welcome back to Farming Simulator 15. Um, I will be jumping in and out of this broadcast. Uh, <clears throat> I'm just going to kind of see how things go. Um, I'm still at the beginning, so not much is really going on right now. Uh, I'm just doing, I'm just trying to harvest up as much of canola as I can, because it's the best crop. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much how things are going to go for me right now, so sit back and enjoy. I'll try and give you some starter tips that I picked up. Um, and that should be about it, so hopefully we can get some shit together and see how that goes. <clears throat> I will admit that the beginning part of this game is incredibly boring. Pretty much all you're doing is sitting and waiting for everything else to get done so that you can finally make some money. And pretty much once you get one or two fields going, you'll be non-stop busy, but damn, you have to spend a lot of fucking time on your first field. And this is what I would recommend to cut back some time. I'll usually have one person sowing, one person harvesting, and one person cultivating all at once, just so I can try and get as much usefulness out of the field as possible. And, I hate to say it's kind of cheating, but I always go to my settings, and um, I always make my plant growth super fast, and I make the plant withering off, just so I can try and build up some capital real quick, because it's about the only way you're going to do it. Especially on console, I'm mean, on the computer. I went into the readme file for my save and opened it up and changed my cash amount number from, say, like 27,000 to 2.7 billion. Not a proud moment, but... You do what you have to to keep your farm alive. Yeah, she's going to be unloaded here soon. And anyway, yeah, like I was saying, uh, best crop once you get through your initial, because when you start up, you're going to have to start with, I think, wheat. Uh, best thing you do is try and get through that, just pocket the money that you can get, because I mean, it's free. You start off with a field full of wheat, so why not use it? Um, and then as soon as you get through that, immediately jump to canola, because canola is the most readily available, harvest, harvestable uh, item in the game, and it is probably the most financially beneficial crop, crop that you can start off with. Especially on your first field, because otherwise you're just going to take forever building money up doing any other kind of crop. So I usually start with a couple canola fields just to build money up, and then after that I start experimenting with like beets and potatoes and actually doing some other shit. Trying some other things when I have the money to spend. But in the beginning you're kind of strapped for cash and you're just kind of building, building things up. <coughs> oh, another thing I'd highly recommend, which I did not have in the last stream, is get a bigger tipper. It saves you trips, saves you time. Um... It's just overall better to have. I mean, in the PC game I had, I uh, actually got the biggest tipper I could and bought a semi just for the main reason of it. It just saves so much more time. And I had like a fleet going. And that, but like I said, I had like $2.7 billion in my game. So I kind of just bought the fuck out of everything. Like I had like windmills everywhere generating revenue. I just had bee houses for no fucking reason. I, it, was, I, it was insanity. It's. Farming simulator taken too far, probably. Another thing that helps is as soon as you can try to get a bigger harvester. For fuck's sake, get a bigger harvester because the the first one you get fills up so fast and it's just fucking annoying because you can't really do anything else because it's it goes up and down the road like three or four times and you have an empty son of a bitch out. trying to think oh yeah um another good thing to do would be to lay down fertilizer um i haven't really seen the side by side comparison on yield or what you're going to get for your uh crop if you do fertilize or not or if you use like a slurry tank for manure i haven't really messed with manure much on this game um but when I do, I'll, I'm sure I'll, I'll be broadcasting, so you'll be seeing exactly how things go when I do it. Um, 
just trying to think of everything else that could possibly be covered that would help. Cause it's been a while since I've played. This is the first time I've played on Xbox One. Well, first sit down that I've played on Xbox One. I did a broadcast earlier, but. I didn't really cover much in that one, so I kind of wanted to get a little bit more going before I broadcast again. Because the last one was just the initial, and it's pretty, it's pretty fucking boring, actually. I mean, this isn't much better, but at least I have something going on, and I <sighs> kind of got it started up pretty good. Oh, excuse me. And I'm not sure if this is for the PC, on the PC or not, but uh, I have just realized I can only hire three workers at a time, which is kind of fucking annoying when you think about it. You can do it. I really need to invest in a better, better track. Another thing that's really good to get is the cultivator that also plants your seeds at the same time, which that might be the same thing as a cultivator, but it will, no, it will cultivate the ground and sow your seeds at the exact same time, save so much time. It's not very big, but fuck, does it, it eliminates the need for both of these. shit. Oh yeah, I forgot I had it on fast. <clears throat> so this is kind of a good thing too, because by the time this is at the end over there, it'll, I can just start over pretty much. Oh shit. I didn't think about that. Well, this hasn't had any fertilizer. Damn it, it looks like I'm gonna do this myself. Which I suck at. Which this thing has got some pretty pretty epic spread on it, so it's kinda hard to fuck it up, but where there's a will, there's a way, right? Boom, we got pretty much all of that covered. Awesome. Shit. Alright. Try and get a little bit ahead of the game here. Just make sure that everything that does come up is fertilized to ensure the best yield. <clears throat> Just making me really want to try out a slurry tank. Just for the fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. Damn it. Always gotta be that asshole. Alright, that should be okay for a little while. I shouldn't have to do much more for a little bit. Just to ensure that that area does get fertilized before... Oh, fuck. See what I mean? You get a little bit behind and all cascades.
And it's pretty important to keep up with your harvester and make sure that you empty it out. Otherwise, like I said, I like to keep three going at the same time. If I don't keep up with them, then they're going to hit each other and it's just a big fucking mess to try and try and get a butt done. Oh, shit. Excuse me. Fuck. Yeah, he's got one more in him. Not the time to dump it out after that. Uh, this has got maybe one more row in it. Pretty much you want this harvester running non-stop. Which I'm gonna have to keep this broadcast going probably until I at least get my first uh Yeah, my first full bin and I'll get dropped off. So you can kinda see like the fastest method to do so. Uh it looks like I'm gonna have to run the fertilizer here soon. Oh shit. This much worker. Go refill this one back up. And then we'll put it on his mare right away. Probably take this to the car wash too. So. Whatever. Uh oh, I got another row up. But this is probably the best method to do. Is just keep, always keep something running. I'm gonna post this uh, this recording to YouTube here later, and if anybody has any questions from it, um, feel free to say something in the comments below. Just uh, and I'll try and help out the best I can. Like I said, this is the first time I've played on Xbox. I played pretty heavy on PC uh, when I was on Active Duty. Um, it definitely kills some time, but. I will try to help out the best I can from the um, experience I've gained from both, and I actually have played it on the 3DS as well. So, uh, yeah, if you have any other questions, like anything basic or a little bit more extreme, I'll try to help out the best I can. Oh, it is always did hate this part of starting a new game. It just takes like, 
get started. Once you get established pretty good, it's all downhill, but until then, it's fucking nightmare. Today, Junior. Oh shit, his pipe is open. He is ready. Is he? Get in there. Shit. I have to go over the fertilizer again. Come on, fill up already, goddammit. Come on. You can do it. Gotta fill it up all the way just so I can see how much a full thing is worth. Ah, uh, shit. No, don't close your pipe. Don't close it. Don't close it. Don't close it. Fuck! Alright, never mind. Alright, well, it's kind of. Oh, shit, tree. Uh, it's kind of full. Ah, fuck, tree. Um, well, I'll show you roughly, I guess, how much a. Uh, and it's supposed to be in, it's not that far off. I think it's pounds, but 21,000 pounds of canola's worth. And you'll we'll see exactly why this is all a farm. I saw a lot. Probably stuck in there. It's probably pretty fucking annoying by now. Right, here we go. And let's see. Okay, we have roughly twenty-five thousand six sixty-five, six sixty. Uh, shit. Um, let's start at six, ah. Here we go. And let's see how far we go. Already over ten thousand. 20,000. Okay, yeah, that was uh, 25,899. So you might as well say 26,000 per load on one of these. So and I'll probably get two or three out of each one. So it's, it's definitely worth it. Oh, and quick trick. Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Ah, here. Just to save you some time, always once you do this, this reset it back to the farm because it's gonna save you the drive back, and sometimes that can really help. And boom, reset back to the farm. So this is where I'm gonna stop here. Um, I will probably jump back in and make another video after I've kind of built up a little bit more capital because right now there's really not much going on. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.